But I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I don't see what the big crime is. much with this guy but i don't get the thing he said uh some of you talking to this the women here some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world okay that seems fairly like modern but i would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world i don't see what the big crime is i really don't and I think this is part of the problem people have with the left, is that lots of people in this country are like this. Like he's saying, some of you may go on to lead successful careers, but a lot of you are excited about this other way that people, everybody used to be. And now can it, can't that just be a choice too? And I feel like they feel very put upon, like there's only one way to be a good person, and that's to get an advanced degree from one of those <laughs> factories like Harvard. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs player Harrison Butker has caused quite the storm online following comments he made during a commencement speech at Benedictine College in Kansas. Take a look. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. But it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. who is Catholic himself, also made comments critical of Pride <laughs> Month. I guessed that. And I know it was pretty yeah. obvious, wasn't it? <laughs> President Joe Biden's view of abortion. But it was the comments directed to women which have gone viral. Now, he's been slammed as misogynistic and having a 1950s mentality. The NFL has publicly distanced itself from his comments, but obviously many have also praised him for upholding traditional family values. What was wrong with what he said, Evelyn? I don't think anything was wrong with what he said. And the problem is it's been incredibly dishonest what people have been doing. It was a 20 something minute speech and I have listened to the entire thing. Um, so I can speak from that. But most people who are speaking about it have taken those little grabs totally out of context and have ran with it and been like, oh, he's a misogynist, he's this. They don't take note that for 10 minutes of his speech, he talks about how men need to be better men, they need to be better fathers, that fatherlessness leads to a whole heap of problems in society that could be avoided, including violence towards women. And he talks about how if men are doing their job properly, violence towards women isn't going to be there. It goes on and on and on. So this whole thing that he's this misogynistic, you know, twat who's this and that. It's just dishonest at best. And you know, the thing about feminism that I hate is the entire backbone of it is sold on lies. If people want to have a career, if people want to do that, 
no one's mandating otherwise. But the thing that I cannot stand about feminism is how it lies to women. If they were just honest in their take, I guarantee you that nine out of 10 women wouldn't eat the cake that they're putting out, but they have to lie to sell it because that's all they can do. And the lie that they sell is that women not only can have the best of both worlds, being a mother and having a career, but that they should. And if women don't do it, they're somehow less than that. Being a homemaker, you're just a homemaker. Mm. We have devalued motherhood. We have mm. devalued the home. And there are two sides to the coin of modern feminism. One, all women have a voice. Believe all women, Me Too movement, all women can do whatever they want. And the other side of the coin, oh, you want to be a mother? Shut up. And I'm tired of it. They devalue women and they're dishonest with this man's take. The whole West is on fire. Why? Because of the breakdown of families. And, he, you know, we have that Travis Kelsey, we have Taylor Swift's boyfriend chugging a beer and slamming it down in a speech and everyone applauds. But heck, this man is saying, you know what? Men should treat women better. Women, it's okay if you want to be a mum because that's a beautiful thing. You are forging the eternal souls of the next generation. And you know what? You're a demon and I'm sick. This is the problem with the world. And I think that man did a great speech. And don't listen to the clips. Read, Listen to the whole 20 minutes and I guarantee you it will inspire you and it will inspire the women in your life because it was fantastic. I think there's a... Rant a, a, over. <laughs> no one was stepping in there, there was, at all. There was a flow. There's, there's been a, a general denigration of the idea of a stay-at-home mum, yep. right? Because women have been told, and, and quite correctly, that if you want to have a career, you should absolutely have the opportunity to do so. And I, and I think in every sensible person, fully supports that. But you've, you've kind of, pardon the pun, thrown the baby out with the bathwater um, and decided that if women don't want to do that mm -hmm. and they would rather go down the more traditional road of being a stay-at-home mother, that they are somehow less than their counterparts who go off to work because, you know, they're not contributing to the economy. Mm. Well, who cares if they're contributing to the economy? They're, they're contributing you. people well, to they, the next generation they, who then fuel the economy anyway. They probably are contributing <clears throat> the economy if you actually break it down and what's happening and how everything works. Yeah. And but they're not paying tax and that's what the government has. Well, if we had income splitting, perhaps we might have a better version Good point that look like but you're absolutely right uh, and to Ev's point you know conservative women we're also part of that other side of the coin that we should shut up because we're not believed mm. we're mm. certainly not encouraged we're yeah. certainly not validated uh, but we're actually crumb maidens I think was our reference of mm. what we are so but the the myth the lie that I think was perpetuated to women was you can have it all yes and <clears throat> no you can't it, and, and, women and, and this is not just women, this is women and men. You cannot be the best parent and the best homemaker you can be and the best full-time career person you can exactly. be. There's going to have to be compromises mm. everywhere Sacrifices. by everyone. And I actually really don't like when this is talked about just in terms of women because if you are a family unit and you're having mm. children, men do not babysit their children. <laughs> they and every time I, I hear that, it's just, it's like... But he talks about board. this in the speech, how yeah. men need to be better not, fathers. And look, I actually caught up with someone oh. the other day, you know, a, a, the father of my children, where we're divorced and repartnered and everything. Someone said to me, how do you make it work when you're down here? And I'm like, seriously, divorce is the best thing. We actually have a really good parenting arrangement now that we have going, but it is it is difficult. It is really hard. And I did have seven years at home when my kids were little. Um, so, and I'm now in the federal Senate. So it doesn't mean yeah. you can't then come back and have a career. Exactly. Like yeah, you, exactly. Need, you need to have choices and respect people's choices, mm. whatever they are. They don't have to be everybody's choice. Of course. But if people want to make a choice in one direction, then they should be able yeah. to do well, it. I, th I think your point about then it is actually a really good one. Because like, I thought, you know, in a lot of what he said, like some of it's obviously a bit off I think the first thing is people should be allowed to say things that you disagree with without lose, you losing it, your mind. Yeah. Like he's, he's allowed to be socially 100%. conservative. Yep. He's allowed to say what he thinks. He was a Catholic and that Catholic audience college. might agree with him. And the, <laughs> it was a Catholic might not. university. It's a Catholic it was university. a standing right. ovation. So, so he says that, so what? Let him think it. What's the big deal? So I think that's the first problem. You know, we've lost the art of learning to agree how to disagree. The second thing is though, like my, without a doubt, like daylight second, the most important important thing in my life that has been an absolute game changer and again you, your life only really starts you realize you're almost like sleepwalking you know, until you become until a parent you, until you become a parent until, <laughs> yeah. you know, the kids, my kids are without a shadow of a doubt um, the most important thing in my life and and I would sacrifice 
anything Career for Career and everything Unfortunately, the country needs me, so I have to provide <laughs> some <laughs> guidance. But we all need a reasonable why, lefty, that's Joe. That's why his speech was a bit weird, right? Yeah. Because he was doing the whole it's motherhood, the mom, that's you right, know, yeah. it's a mother thing. But he like, didn't. Why he... couldn't he just say parenthood? Why couldn't he no, say... I think he, he no, also he previously did. said that dads needed to be more involved. He did. That's the thing. This is the, this is the problem. It's been so dishonest. They've taken one bit because he. the first thing he did was address the women in the audience to say congratulations on your achievement of graduating today. That's incredible and you should be very proud. I'm proud of you. And then he specifically addressed them basically saying, if the world tells you you have to take this graduation thing today and run with it and forget motherhood, don't because, you know, you, you are called to be a mother. You're sure. But no, it's still a bit of a he, weird time to say to no, someone when not, they've graduated. Not at and all. And they spent four years totally working on their relevant. degree. Hey, don't worry about that. Yeah, exactly. no, but that's don't get a it's a weird pressure. time. It's a bit weird. No, that's when women would feel the pressure because the world's telling them if you're a mother, you're less. If you don't want to be at the home, you're less. Because I can tell you from experience, the first thing people say to me is, what do you do for a job? It's like I'm only seen as my identity. And if, if I say, you know what, I'm a stay at home, my mum's like, oh, what did you do before that? It's like people cannot see you unless I it's through a career. I went to this great Catholic university. <laughs>